So the, the, the Wild uh, Research Group's overarching question is looking at um, why if 70% of the staff of um, UK-based INGOs and charities is 70% women, are there so few female chief execs and board chairs? 70% um, of those positions are held by men. Uh, not just in our sector but in society there are so many structures that have been put in place which have not been challenged for so long and which have perpetuated a certain type of person getting to the top. I think there are lots of issues and sub-issues uh, here. There's issues obviously around gender, there's also issues around BME um, and intersectionality. Most organisations in the sector work on social justice, gender justice and in general a more sustainable and equal world but so far they don't reflect that within their own organizational structures and values. So in, in the design or the creation of the projects the needs of the female and other minority groups or people with uh, at a disadvantage are just not factored in, are not considered in the first place so of course these services would not really meet their needs. Working in the field that we're working with and we're we're working on equality issues, this is actually a social justice issue um, and we have to really critically reflect on whether we're really achieving equality when we're doing work in countries in the global south and our leadership boards are in the global north and they're very white, they're very male. Leadership is still defined by these inherently masculine characteristics and that has different issues for men and for women because it's negative in terms of um, diversity for both and that leadership can be so much more positive and so much more encouraging if we embrace those different styles. I think at the heart of the challenge is really the current definition of leadership and how we redefine this together as a sector so that it's much more inclusive, much more representative. None of the barriers and challenges that women have faced have been individual isolated incidences. They are, um, they are a, a demonstration of the systemic problems that we do have and it's about how, what can we do next, how can we uh, talk about it in an accessible way so that senior leadership uh, teams can talk about it and feel confident and brave in calling things out when they see them. I think one of the challenges is to keep noticing and keep growing and forgiving ourselves when we haven't quite got it right but continuing to have that passion and the commitment to keep going. And I think we've been dealing with these issues in silos, so we've been dealing with race perhaps or gender and that's led to a real kind of tick box approach to dealing with equality that hasn't been transformative. We could be better if we had more diversity, if we had more women, if we had more people of colour, we could be better organisation, we could be more dynamic, we could be more innovative. People have been fighting for this for decades now and it's still we're still going to be fighting in another few decades um, but the fact that there are people like this um, that come together and are trying to address these issues is, is really great to see.